I am Miss Chen. Hello everyone, I am Mr. Eaton Jones. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So what we are going to read for you today is a book called Flow. Now this is a very, very special book for us because the author was Mr. Eaton Jones and the illustrator was Miss Chen. Miss Chen. Now we created this book because we've worked in lots of different schools and we've realised that actually children really, really, really want to be kind, but sometimes they don't have the language to um, be able to express themselves or understand the feelings of other people. So we thought we would write this book and draw lots of different interesting characters to help children understand that it's okay if you don't understand somebody, you can still be kind. So, let's get started, shall we? Flop by Mark Eaton Jones, illustrated by Cindy Sue. In the beauty of space, near a bright star, on an elegant planet, upon a grand land, he was lost. All out of place. First, Flob opened his big bright eyes and then he spoke. Fair fem I. His spaceship broken and not fit for outer space, his path back home is what he must retrace. Peering out through the lush trees, away from home, Flob wasn't at ease. Looking around, what grand things could he see? Fellow, fan Flob, fan Fu felt me. A friend he did spy, Flob's bright eyes got wider as he bounced up to his good chum, Tiger. Please, Mr. Tiger, help me back to my home. But to the great Tiger, little Flob was unknown. What's that you say? What's that you speak? Sorry, I don't understand you. What do you seek? Not knowing what was said, but it was clear to see, the poor tiger was in pain with a thorn in the knee. I've no foul to felp, said Flob to his friend. He knew tigers must hunt, so Flob made his pain end. What a thoughtful creature you are, I want you to know. Although I don't understand you, your kindness does show. I wish you the best, whatever you do, and for helping me, I forever thank you. You. Not sure what was said, but with a smile on his face, Flop moved on to find his own place. Hmm, where is this? Looking around, what grand things could he see? Hello, I'm Flop. Fem Fu felt me. Flop's smile got bigger when he saw his old mate. So he bubbled forward, he could hardly wait. Miss Camel, Miss Camel, I can't believe it's Foo. But the camel stood right up as her grin grew. Is that you say? What do you speak? Sorry, I don't understand you. What do you seek? Not knowing what was said, but it was clear to see the poor camel was so hot and looked thirsty. Foul to fell, said Flob to his friend. He knew this place was so warm, so it was her thirst Flob could mend. What a thoughtful creature you are, I want you to know. Although I don't understand you, your kindness does show. I wish you the best, whatever you do, and for helping me, I'll forever thank you. Not sure what was said? But with a smile on his face, Flob moved on to find his own place. Hmm, where is Flob now? Looking around, what grand things could he see? Fellow, I'm Flob, Fan Fu felt me. Now slowly smirking and weak at the knees, Flob slid over for what great friends were these? Fess, Mr. Bear, fellow Tufu and your cub. 
but the bear just stood staring with a smile and a shrug. What's that you say? What do you speak? Sorry, I don't understand you. What do you seek? Not knowing what was said, but it was clear to see, all that snow on his nose must be set free. I've no felt to felt, said Flog to his friend. He knew he must smell his next meal, so to his nose he did attend. <sighs> what a thoughtful creature you are. I want you to know, although I don't understand you, your kindness does show. I wish you the best, whatever you do, and for helping me, I'll forever thank you. Not sure what was said, but with a smile on his face, Flog moved on to find his own place. Hmm, I wonder where Flog is at now. Looking around, what grand things could he see? Falu and Flog, Fenfu felt me. Swimming quickly, now sure it was a pal that he just found, Flog floated up to the turtle with a wish to be homebound. Visit Foo, Mr. Turtle, for Typhi Fowl. But all the turtle did was wrinkle his brow. What's that you say? What do you seek? Speak. Sorry, I don't understand you. What do you seek? Not knowing what was said, but it was clear to see, with the bag of his flipper, he could be carefree. I've no felt to felt, said Flog to his friend. He knew turtles must swim fast. On it, their life depends. What a thoughtful creature you are, I want you to know. Although I don't understand you, your kindness does show. I wish you the best, whatever you do, and for helping me, I'll forever thank you. Now head in his hands. Flop didn't know what to do, for he was lost on the way back home he wished he knew. But then his big grin and bright eyes did return. As he looked down, was his luck about to turn? Fats for to Farrow, that's my home! His bright eyes got wider and his smile was fully grown. Clicking the button and moving to the edge of his seat, he dreamt of all his friends that he wished to meet. <coughs> With a zip and a zap, a bang and a flash, Flob left nothing behind, not even a splash. What do you notice about Flob's friends in this picture? Do they look like the earth creatures that we saw? Or are they different? Flob is so happy to be home with his friends. So Flob made it home and thought of all the kind animals he met and what he had learnt he would never forget. When you think you're alone and no one understands you, always know that there are loving people who do. Be kind to others, no matter how different they are. Work together and like Flog, you'll reach the stars. Finding your place will take strength and time, but when you find it, you'll find your reason and rhyme. He was in his place. He was found upon a grand land on an elegant planet, near a bright star, in the beauty of space. Well, we hope you enjoyed that story. Um, and I hope that makes a little bit sense about how Flob uh, wanted to communicate to all these different people on Earth, but couldn't quite, but he still found the energy to be kind and thoughtful and caring for other people. So maybe if the next time you don't really understand somebody, you could also be a little bit kind to them. I'm sure you already are, but especially during this festive season, being kind should be everybody's number one priority. I'll say it again. 
Maybe this Christmas you can help someone in need. If you would like to read this again, if you give it a little Google, you can download it for free on your Kindle. So have a little look if you want to read again. And maybe another book will be coming your way very soon. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas!